So now it's over. The fat lady has sung and the January transfer window has now closed. Now I've got to point out to you that the French, Spanish and Italian windows close later than ours. The Scottish window closes at midnight, which is why we start there, because the big transfer of the window is Robbie Keane to Celtic. The Spurs strike has been crowded out by the arrival of Idi Goodjonsson. He's in Parkhead having talks there is going to go there on loan where I'm sure he's going to fill his boot. Elsewhere, the other big signing has been Adam Johnson to Manchester City for around £7 million. Pounds. A stunning deal for Middlesbrough for a player out of contract at the end of the season and a dream move for Johnson. The busiest club today has been West Ham. They've signed three strikers. Benny McCarthy, we've known about, but Fat Mido, who we understand has agreed to play for just £1,000 a week and the 29-year-old Brazilian striker. Elan from St Etienne. He's got three international caps. Lots of other clubs happy with the business that they've done too. Wigan have completed the signing of Crystal Palace striker Victor Moses in the biggest deal they've done today. Uh, Fulham have completed the signing of Nicky Shorey on loan from Aston Villa until the end of the season. Hull have today rejected an improved £5 million bid from Wolves for the winger Stephen Hunt. Middlesbrough, they've signed Spurs defender Carl Norton on loan until the end of the season. QPR, they have swooped to sign the Birmingham striker Marcus Bent on loan until the end of the season. Ipswich have got the Sunderland striker David Healy on loan. Stoke should confirm. In fact, I can tell you they have confirmed that the goalkeeper Asmir Begovic has signed for £3.25 million on a four-and-a-half-year deal. Derby have signed the Stoke midfielder Michael Tong. Fulham have completed the signing of Stefano okaka Chuka on loan from Roma until the end of the season. And Fulham have also signed the rising star Christopher Buckman from Liverpool. He's 17, he plays on the left, and he was part of their victorious FA Cup, uh, well, FA Youth Cup winning side. Now, some of the ones that got away, because Mariga McDonald, he's failed to get his move to Man City. He couldn't get a work permit. Our man Ian in the spot office is with Dan updating you on all of those deals uh, so you'll find out who has and who hasn't managed to move as the evening wears on. Now then, I promised you all a, a winner in the competition to win these boots, but we literally can't tell you who the winner is because we don't have all of the transfers in yet. Uh, so to be fair to you all, we've decided that we're going to have one last show on Tuesday morning just so that we can get everything in. Uh, the competition, however, is now closed. We still have uh, lots of your entries. Jeff Norris in Canada thinks it's going to be Roman Pavlichenko. We don't think he's moved Jeff. Uh, Spencer Mike said Anderson. Wrong again. Uh, Anderson staying at Manchester United. Uh, Kaney thinks it'll be Adam Johnson to City. He could be right. Uh, Johnson has indeed gone today. We haven't confirmed his transfer fee yet. 161 thinks it will be Miguel Veloso to Spurs. Uh, that's a bit optimistic. And just one more. Uh, Ayo Gezi thinks it will be Chris Smalling to Manchester United. We will tell you the most expensive signing tomorrow morning. And we'll pick a winner at random to make sure that somebody wins these boots at around about half past ten London time. Now, just news to tell you that Middlesbrough have confirmed the signing of Scott McDonald from Celtic. And also Lee Severin, uh, Lee Miller, I should say, from Aberdeen. Now we asked you for your views on the John Terry affair earlier and they came flooding in. Nuance Q West says here, as for Terry, uh, footballers are just being footballers. It's just that society has changed. Two years ago it would have been a high five. My name's who? Uh, thinks Wayne Rooney should now be the new captain. And Abbas got strong views. He says it's a disgrace what John Terry's done. He should resign the captaincy. If he keeps the armband, I don't know what the dressing room morale will be like at the World Cup. Now, one outstanding answer to a question for you. Ayo Gazi asked it earlier. Uh, he said, uh, could Sir Alex Ferguson leave Manchester United in the summer? Well, I can't see him leaving that place. And no, I can't see either Martin O'Neill or Jose Mourinho replacing him. Ferguson doing a great job at Old Trafford. Now, hopefully we've not done too bad a job today. We're going to be back with the Football Spy Roundup tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, at around about half past ten. It will be the last show of the current series. We will see you then.